What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Over Here. Welcome to you back to another episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Um, in the last episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, we took and we started Chapter 1, and we entered our very first three-time. Byakuya became our leader, per the huge. Byakuya has to be the leader, because if it's not Byakuya, then who is it? Um, my controller's been acting very clunky, which... Now it's working just fine. But earlier today, it was acting very clunky during other recordings. So hopefully, it decides to not act out. Um, there's a shower room. Is this where we can... It's probably the bathroom. This is. Th there's a room for showering on this point. It is pretty large and easy to use. But I never felt comfortable shower. I never really felt comfortable showering. Well, this is... Well, this is the kind of situation we are in, after all. Wow, um, yeah, definitely not me. Uh, definitely, definitely in a different boat. Okay, so we got to figure out where the heck our peoples are. So I want to use the map first to determine where our peeps are. Um, there's two people that I specifically stated wanting to talk to. Oh, there it is, okay. So, oh, it tells me, okay, from here, who's who's where. Biakia's here. Oh, my gosh. Peko and Nekamaru are next to each other. What I hate about that is I specifically had said that I didn't want... To communicate with Nekamaru first. Because I can't be the person that's just like, Oh my god, you're beautiful. You're blah, 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 I can't talk him up, right? Like, I have to, like, play it cool. I can't just go head over heels immediately. It's like, not, I mean, not like I did. But, you know, I, I already played it terribly. I can't, like, I have to be better about it, you know? There's four people in here. I think I really want to talk to the nurse first. Uh, Mikan, I think, is her name. Um, that is honestly... I can't believe... Oh, well, how can I fix the thing? Okay. A lot of people, I'm sure, are in shock by that decision. That I'm choosing Mikan first out of anybody. But I do want to get to know Mikan a little bit more. Figure out what she's about. Um... Uh, this is this is too weird. It's it's too much for me. If I'm alone, I'll go crazy. What should I do? Should I invite Mikon to hang out? Uh, crap. I don't have any presents, and I feel like the present system. I'm sorry, Mikon. I've thought about it, and the present system exists. I think. So as much as I know, we're not supposed to teleport. Um, across the map. It's like a big no-no. Um, I think I have to in this instance. Just so... I can go buy things at the vending machine. Can I not? I can't. Oh, but I can go... I can teleport to the bridge front. Okay. So I just gotta run then from the bridge front. I probably could teleport from bridge front to not bridge front. But... Also, we are lagging. That's a shock to me that this game of all games is lagging. I don't know what could be causing... Oh, I'm passing the market. Hello. I don't know what could be causing the lag, um, but I'm not a fan of that. Like, I don't know why it's lagging. Okay, the vending machine. What would you like to purchase? Oh, do I get to pick? Is it not like a... Ooh, I do get to pick. Okay. You know what? I think that... Mineral water would actually be good... For Mekon. Tips and Tips 2nd Edition. Ghost Stone. Bobo Dolls. Tissues. Tissues would not be a bad gift. I don't mind that as a gift. Ch 
chocolate chip jerky, cod roe baguette, potato sunflower seeds. I know who I'm giving that to. Um, tips and tips, tips and tips. Second edition sounds like it'd be cool, but uh, hold on. There we go. I can. I was like, I better be able to interact with that. Give me my coins. Are you serious? Yes, Monokuma. Of course I saw it. I'm not a crazy person or anything. Okay. And this is just going to say it's regular cola. I can't purchase it. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a 10 liter bottle of soda. With this much soda, even the ultimate fanfic creator would have his, French, his th th thirst quenched. They made a... I can't. I can't. We can't. We can't be doing this. We can't be doing this. We can't be making Hifumi references. Excuse me. Why in the world? Anyway, we got the mineral water for Mekon, and that's what matters, okay? We were not here to be with uh, Hotel Suites. We were not here to talk about Hifumi. This is not who we were here to talk about, game, but fine, I guess. We were talking about Hifumi for literally no reason. But, you know, we just we do that. We do the thing, and it just happens that way, okay? I guess. I guess. Even though I don't like that. Also, hopefully it's, like I said, I, it feels like the game's lagging, but it might not be, and I might just be going crazy. Anyway, we got mineral water for Mekon, and I'm going to hang out with Mekon. I was dead set. Mekon, we're hanging out. Uh, what? Uh, is it okay for you to hang out with someone like me? Thank you very much. I spent some time sitting next to Mekon, who was so moved, she seemed lost for words. It looks like Mekon and I have grown a little closer. Would you like to give Mekon a present? Here, Mekon, have some water. Is this something you throw or hit things with? Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'll make sure I can take good care of it. Despite the fact that, or the fact that we decided to hang out, Mikon is acting suspicious, and hasn't tried to look at me at all. Somehow, I feel like I did something bad to her, even though I know I didn't do anything. Hmm. I I'm sorry. What's with this all of a sudden? I, I thought you clearly looked at me like you were in a bad mood. Did I do something wrong again? No. Well, what, what should I do? Um, would it make you happier if I took my clothes off? Mikan, no. Hold, hold on. Why are we acting like this? You're right. You don't want to see me naked, right? Uh, then how about my money? Seriously, hold on, Mikan. It's no use. I feel like if I start panicking, the situation is only going to get worse. All right. I should calm down first. Hey, Mikan. I want to talk to you normally. To talk, uh, um, today is such a beautiful day. Yeah. I'm sorry, should I take off my clothes? Seriously, you don't have to do anything like that, Mikon. This is troubling. I guess I should start talking to Mikon about something she might get excited about. What's your favorite bandage type? Um, Mikon, what type of bandages do you like to use the most? Bandage? Let's see, there's lots of different types these days. It is extremely convenient because there are waterproof types and sticky types, but I definitely like the non-elastic types the best. They're not too constricting, and they're still firmly secure wounds. I'm glad she's getting into the conversation. Uh, so sorry, I went on talking and started talking on my own. Don't worry about it. I'm the one who asked you anyway. Also, I feel like I got to know you a little bit more, Mekon. Really? Um, I think we can call it a day for now. Um, if it's not too much trouble, I would like to talk to you again. It's been a while since someone, like, talked to me like this, so... Of course, anytime, Mikan. We decided to go our separate ways for now, but for some reason I feel like Mikan was staring at my back a little too long. She's not a bad person, but I really don't know how to communicate with her very well. Mikan's report card has been updated based on your experiences. 
For now, I decided to return to my room. We get some more free time. It's still bright out. I got time left. I don't feel like doing nothing, so maybe I should go somewhere. I don't know why it had to tell me that we were getting free time again. I don't feel like it needed to do that. I think it should have just known that we were okay with being in free time. But that's just a slight critique. Um, okay, there's different people in the lobby. You can't tempt me by being in the top floor of the freaking lobby. Pecco's cottage. So Pecco's in her cottage. Um, that's where we, who we wanted. I wanted to make an effort to see Pecco. So we'll make sure we, you know, live up to that effort. That's Pecco. Yeah, that's Pecco. Hi, Pecco. The door is open. I might lose my edge by staying here. Perhaps running along the beach would provide a sufficient training. What should I do? Invite Pecco to hang out. Then you run, too. Leg strength is crucial for all things, but there is never a downside to training. I spent my time today running countless laps along the beach with Pecco. I think Pecco and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Pecco a present? Do we even have a present for Pecco? Sunflower seeds are not for Pecco. Tissues are really not for Pecco either. I don't really have a present for Pecco. I don't think Pekka would take the tissue paper too kindly. Ah. Uh. Screw it, I'm trying it. It will not benefit to you at all to give me a present. However, if you're willing to give me one, then I shall gladly accept it. It's cool we're hanging out, but it's not you. But we're not really talking about anything. Hey, Pecco, do you like Kendo? Yes. This conversation isn't progressing. Um, is your house a Kendo dojo? Sort of. S sort of. However, is there something wrong with that? No, no, no. I'm just wondering. Pecco's stare is really intense. It might be best if I change the subject. Um, let's see. A topic that won't offend her too much. Oh, I know, Pecco. What level are you? Are you talking about my kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? Dojo trainees typically earn levels corresponding to the years of their training. However, I have no need for that. Well, why? Don't people normally aim for kind that kind of an advancement? No. I have no such aim. My destination has always been decided. To protect who I must protect. Cut who I must cut. That alone is the original purpose of the sword. We wielding a blade in the truest sense of is my aim. That is my reason for existing. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for a meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. I see Pekko isn't a typical Kendo athlete then. She truly is the ultimate swordsman. How could I ask such a foolish question about levels? I don't really know much about Kendo, but I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai in a way. What? R really cool? You say such strange things. No, no. I have... No no one has ever said that to me before. Um, well, th 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 thank... Never mind. She seems very awkward. Is she blushing? I dropped my controller again. Please stand. However, because of the path I've chosen, however, because of the path that I have chosen, there are some things that I have lost as well. Warm, irreplaceable things. What did you lose? F 
fluffiness. Fluffiness? There are things that are warm, fluffy, and soft. The cat that came to visit the dojo, my childhood do friend's dog, and even the finch that I had as a pet. Why? All, but all animals can sense my menacing presence and run away from me. I just, I want to touch their soft and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. I see. That must be really painful. I'm really surprised that I, I thought she was going to talk about the event in her past or something. Oh, then it must... Then what about asking Gundam if you can touch his hamsters next time you see him? He might be able to help you out with that. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you as well. I see. I see. You do have a point. Also, since his hamsters are called the four dark divas of destruction, they might not get scared of me and run away. I should look for Gundam right now. Her eyes look even scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Hi, Ime. I keep calling him Jaime. Hajime. Thank you for your advice. If you like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Becca walked off in a hurry. She must really be desperate to touch something fluffy. But based on this, I feel like I was able to, significant, to significantly close the distance between me and Becca. Next time, I might be able to talk to her normally. Becca's report card has been updated. I decided to go back to my room for now. It's probably nighttime now. It's typically for the first game... Um, or for the second game, that's how it was. Is it was two? Yeah. Cool. Monokuma, Monokuma. Oh, shoot. Did he just tell us to go to the park? In the middle of the night? What is he up to? Suddenly had a bad feeling about all this, and goosebumps sprang up all over my body. If we're not allowed to defy Monokuma, then there's no way I can ignore this, right? Which means there's a not nothing I can do except for listen to him. Damn it. What is it now? Uh, John skipping text. That's what it is. Oops. I didn't... I Okay. I had first game syndrome where Monokuma literally repeated himself 800,000 times. And so I was like, oh, it's just like the first game. It's fine. He's going to say, it's nighttime. Time to go to bed, y'all. No, he didn't say it's nighttime and go to bed, y'all. He said... Go to Jabberwocky Park, because Jabberwocky Park is going to be a great place for us right now. Totally. I'm absolutely not expecting something bad happening here. Definitely not expecting Biakia to die, because Biakia is a second-year student and is, of course, going to get targeted immediately. No, I'm just... T I'm, I'm messing. I have no idea what the heck's happening here. I don't think they would push us to deadly life that quickly. I guess I should have ass assumed something was going to happen, though. That was my fault. We got pushed into a new section of the game, and I just was like, <laughs> like, okay. Oh, hi, um, Peko. You came too, huh? I have no choice. After all, the e-handbook clearly states that defying Monokuma is not permitted. However, it would be foolish to resist if it's just going to make things worse. I hope everyone feels the same way. That worries me a little. Anyway. At any rate, we must go into the park. I guess I have no choice, huh? Of course not. We don't have a choice. Us? Choices? Nah. Everyone was already at Jabberwock Park when I arrived. Once again, you're late. Did you lose your nerve? I'd like to deny that, but he's not exactly wrong. Anyways, it seems like everyone is here. Ugh. What is it this time? So freaking annoying. Uh, then you shouldn't have come. I mean... Well, I mean, I don't know what'll happen to me if I don't come, to be fair. Huh. huh. Since none of us know what'll happen, maybe you should be the one to test it out. Mm. Hey, you may talk like you're tough, wise guy, but you wouldn't come here unless you were scared too. Huh? What? I guess not even a big baddie Yazuka or y Yakaza like you must have been scared of the monster, huh? What the heck did you just say to me? Wait. So stop it. Stop it, you two. Fighting amongst friends isn't good. Huh? What? Did you just say friend? Yeah, I am not your friend. When did I ever become a friends with you? Huh? Hmm. Let me be perfectly clear in this situation. What did you just say? Oh, you didn't hear me. Then I'll repeat myself once again for you. 
I said, I can do it. Do it. Are you saying, don't tell me, you're being serious right now. You are really threatening this? Hey. Fuyuhiko, why don't you calm down for a bit? Don't talk to me like we're friends or something. I live in a completely different world than you. Kill or be killed, that's kind of the world I live in. But hey, the current rules make sense to me then. Play nice and get along? Makes more sense than that play nice and get along crap. If you don't stop right now, I'm going to get seriously angry. Don't treat me like I'm a kid. Just stop already. This kind of fighting won't get us anywhere. There's no way I'm dealing with this. Come by y'all crap. Any of you who the guys who want to die, step forward and I'll kill you right this instant. Sounds fun. Give me your best shot. What's going to happen if you're this easily provoked? Enough. Do you, Hiko? I understand what you are saying. I do not intend to dismiss your feelings. There was a time when I also thought the same way as you. But what would I? What would reckless killing accomplish? If you fail to get away with it, you know you'd be executed. Or perhaps that is what you really want. If so, you'd only be killing yourself to run away from this predicament, and that's what a child would do. W what did you just say? Listen, as long as we're here, I will not let any of you die. I will not let any of you become a victim. And if that goes for you too, Fuyuhiko, I will not let you die. What the hell? Everything you're saying, it's... It just empty promises. It's true my words ring hollow if anyone else spoke them. But I am Biaki Togami. I am the one destined to bring these promises to fruition. <laughs> Yowza, he's super cool. Mm, I agree. Hmm, I don't care what you say. I'm just going to do whatever I feel like. Do what you will. However, remember what I said earlier. I will not let any of you become a victim. That is my duty that I have appointed to myself. Seems that Piyakia resolved it for now. But even then, he is the ultimate Yakuza. Y <laughs> Yakuza. There's no way Fuhiko really meant what he said he earlier, right? It looks like you guys were arguing, so I wasn't sure when to actually show up. Controller. Cooperate. It looks like I showed up at an awkward time. Hey. What? Why are you dressed like that? Hey. Oh, I didn't mention I. Or oh, didn't I mention in my recent broadcast is my costume for a fun time? Oh, don't tell me what you're gonna do. That's right. Since we're on a tropical island, I'm here to do my two-man comedy routine. Well, why does it matter that we're on a t -t tropical island? But you can do a two-man comedy routine all by yourself? Of course. of course not! That's why I brought my partner, silly! So, what is this? Hmm, that figures. Thank you for waiting. Now then, without further ado, I am pleased to present Monokuma's side-splitting live two-man comedy show! Huh? I didn't hear anything about this. Are you telling me I have to improvise? I'm speechless. Question. If I'm gonna summon 
and accommodate me, then I'll need a lot of blood. So, I gotta comedy one sled. Mm. Pretty please. No matter how charmingly you act, there's no way I'll let you kiss my sled. You're always so quick to make a scary face, Monami. You guys better be careful, too. You know, since Monami's actually a bad guy. He's as bad as the first villain the hero fights in a teen manga. They're always the underdog. Believe me, it's a fact that Monami's a villain. I'll let you all in on a little secret of hers. Monami went out of her way to erase your memories. That got let out way quicker than I would expect. <laughs> Monica was like, yeah, yeah, um, you're not going to know that portion of this. You're going to know this portion of the story now. It's chapter one. You're getting a whole different kind of story. Everything's going to be fine. We're chill with it. Oh, I knew that by, I knew that already based off of uh, Nekamaru. Let's be honest, this is not a freshman. You guys just thought you were because you've lost all of your school memories. Quick, someone get a plagiarist because I feel like I've heard this story before. <laughs> Monokuma. <laughs> oh my gosh, Monokuma. Huh? What, 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 what did he mean? How was it? Was it funny? Or was the comedy just too high brow for you? Hey, what were you saying right now? What was I saying just now? Oh, you mean that when I said the school your school memories were completely stolen? Completely stolen? Our school memories? Completely? Well, what is he saying? <laughs> There's no way! Because I just entered Hope's Peak Academy and then was brought to this island right away! That's because that's how you remember it, sweetie! All thanks to Monami stealing your school memories. But well, what are you saying? That's impossible. Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Hope's Peak Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends, your family. They're probably all worried so sick about you right now. Our school memories were stolen. That's ridiculous. That's right, there's no way I have memory loss. Don't, don't listen to what he says! <laughs> Limit breached. I, I refuse to believe such a thing. Yep, everything's okay. I don't believe it. You're lying, right? St stealing our memories, that's, that's a lie, right? You're just saying that to make fools of us, right? Wrong. Nope. It's not a lie. If it was a lie, then how do you explain this? The moment you arrived at Hope's Peak Academy, y'all experienced a strange dizziness. What? H how do you know that? Actually. <laughs> Why, that was the cutoff point. Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed. What the hell? I could feel myself getting lightheaded. I couldn't think. I couldn't speak. I could only breathe in a heavy gasping breaths. 
So, a long time has passed since then. Impossible. impossible. There's no way. Why? On the contrary. Why is it impossible? Whether or not it's possible, there's no way we can believe it. No, no. no you just don't want to believe it. Right? But don't worry, I'm a generous guy. I can give you back your memories, you know. However, there is a catch. Don't tell me what that catch is. Oh, figured it out yet? That's right, you'll have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. You guys know, right? Well, you want your school memories returned to you, right? Then you better start killing! A penny for your thoughts, a murder for your memories! You me hey, you stop running your mouth! Why, my, why so angry? I'm just providing you all a motive from the bottom of a big, generous heart. Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get to killing done. Well, that's not your fault. Humans are naturally born cowards. They even cry after their mom squeezes them out like, oh my gosh. That's why I'm giving you a motive right now. Think of it like an excuse to commit your future crimes. Stop this at once. Do you really think that a delusional rambling will convince us to commit murder? Yeah, I don't even believe that memoryless crap in, fact, in the first place. But there's more than that. What you guys really don't believe is each other. Right? What's going on? What do you mean? Hey, you guys don't know each other, which means... Yeah. None of you realize that the traitor is hiding among you, right? Huh? Hey. hey, why is there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope Speaks Academy were arranged in this island in the first place. That's right. There's probably a traitor, and I don't even know of, that I don't even know about hiding among this group. Just kidding. Well, what are you saying? All of this about traitors doesn't make any sense. It's obviously nonsense. Lame. For real, you guys. How can you be sure? You guys who don't know anything about each other, you don't know any each other's true natures that's why if you're planning to kill someone it's impossible for any of you to know with those words everyone fell silent i wanted to er argue with him but anybody but nobody said a word they just stood there even so if there really is a traitor isn't that so gosh darn awful Pretending to be your ally, tricking your you guys. It makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? Come on. Make the preemptive strike. It's first come, first served, and the winner takes all. If you want to survive, you gotta find that person before they find you. Even after Monokuma's boisterous laughter faded away, we all just stood there. Every one of us. This situation, this circumstance, this phenomenon, this disaster, this nightmare, this hellscape, this despair. It consumed every one of us. I is it true? Is there really a traitor among us? Ah, uh, it's not me, by the way. I know I may look suspicious, but it's not me. Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself. You're only making things worse for you by for you by saying that saying silent. Just stop. There's no way there's a traitor among us. There is no way. It is pointless to even discuss something so foolish. I won't believe. I won't believe. That's right. Just I, I I don't believe it. Because there's no way I can believe it. There's no reason for it in the first place to believe it. Hey. Monomi, you would know. Yeah. Huh? Is what Monokuma said true about our memory loss and about the traitor? Um, um, I mean, everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you shouldn't back look back at the past. Keep your eyes fixed upon the future. Let's do our very best. Huh? She ran away? 
Hmm, how ridiculous. Memory loss, a traitor. It's completely fictional. I can't believe deal with this. As he said, it was a work of fiction. It's entirely different from the reality I know. Stolen memories, all of my school memories. Everything a traitor hiding among us. But what really stuck with me was when Monokuma said, You guys don't know anything about each other. Yeah, that's the sound that I need to re... It's now 10 p.m. Return to your rooms, relax. Yeah. I need to listen to the ding dong ding dong. Because if I hear that, then I can skip. Hey, what should we do? It's better if we call it a night here. We should get to sleep and try to keep our minds calm. I guess you're right. Just so you know, don't think about unnecessary things. This is your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet at the restaurant after Monokuma's morning announcement. How troubling. I think if saying go, if the saying goes, I'm frightened so stiff. I'm pretty stiff right now, too. That's not how the saying goes, but it's not her fault. She's a foreigner, after all. To be honest, I don't really remember what happened after that, but later I realized something. I was sitting on my bed inside the cottage with my head dropping down to my chest. As I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. Traitor. Could it be someone who isn't like the others? Like someone who doesn't remember what their talent is? What the hell? I don't understand at all. I put these stupid thoughts out of my mind and collapsed onto my bed. I immediately closed my eyes. Closing my eyes was the only thing I could do to escape from this otherworldly reality. They say impossible is a world that's only found in the fool's dictionary. Obviously, it's impossible to use that word and not that's not in your dictionary. If someone can actually make impossible possible, you can tr truly call a person someone who doesn't have the impossible. What the hell was that? That was a tongue twister and a half. Okay, Monokuma, what a way to end this freaking episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, I feel like we're going to progress to deadly life. I don't want to, though, because it's like we're right here. But, like, I got to do that today. You know, I got to progress to deadly life today. <sighs> who is it? Who is it, chat? Only way to find out is to watch the next episode. Bye!